nice little fish, guys. Tell you what, they're all good today. Got out here today, had cold front conditions come in. We've got 20 mile an hour winds blowing through. We're 15 degrees below normal. I said I was supposed to get to 53 degrees today. Let me tell you what, folks, I bet it didn't get to 43 degrees today. We came out with all our traditional bass techniques and they didn't work and I was actually getting ready to go home. But you know what? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I finally figured out what they're biting on and we're gonna start the show right now. So you folks stick around. This is gonna be about changing up. We're gonna to talk to you today about what I did all morning long before I came to the conclusion that that was the bait that we were gonna use right there. So you folks stay tuned. We've got about three hours of daylight left. We're gonna see if we can't put some fish in the boat. This day ain't over yet. experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Side winder planer boards. Fight the fish, not the board. Easy loader boat trailers. All boat trailers are not created equal. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Setter Rods, the American way. Pro Fish, quality fish taxidermy that is second to none. And AX Tackle, tackle that will give you the edge. Oh, there's one right there. That feels like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, you gonna jump out there? Oh yeah, nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Oh yeah, look at that one. Nice chunky fish. On the grub, I won't complain. Keep off of this dock here where he came from. Bubba. Right there, guys. Get off this dock here a little bit, see if we can't get another one on there. But 3 16 ounce jig head with just the four inch Berkeley grub right in the top of the mouth. Fish has been pretty tough here. We're just trying to finesse them up, see if we can't get some more like that. That's a nice fish, go about three and a half pounds or so. Nice belly on it. Pre spawner. All right, buddy, let's put you back in the water. See you, buddy. All right, guys, good fish. See if we can't get some more, get that grub working for us. Folks, one of the tricks when you come out here in the spring like this, it's early spring right now, water temperature is 44 degrees when we started out. The winds finally calmed down, but whether it's windy or not, in the springtime, you're gonna find these bass all the way at the back end of the docks, all the way at the shore side of the docks. What they're doing is they're trying to get into the shallowest water possible, but yet have that protection over the top of their head from predators. You can watch these fish out in the open and when an osprey flies by, they just take off. So what they do to find the warmest water, because this wind is blowing in and it's mixing that shoreline. If your water temperature out here is 44 degrees, you go down that far and it's colder than that. What happens on the shoreline is it takes all this warm surface air as that wind's blowing and it packs it up against the shoreline and it mixes it. So you may have two, three, four feet of water that's 44, 45 degrees depending on what your surface temperature is. So what you wanna do is you wanna focus in on the back end of your docks. That's where 99% of our fish are coming from is at the back end of the dock, just like this dock right here. We're gonna hit the very back end of it, see if we can get one. Got a bite. Got him, guys. Got him, folks. Oh, this is a big fish, guys. Look at that one. Oh, man. Oh, guys. 
Look at that fish pole on hand. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. We're gonna net this fish up, guys, if I can get lucky enough to get it in here. Oh man, what a, what a nice fish. What a nice fish. Get in there. There we go, guys. Look at that fat toad, folks. <laughs> Look right there. Look at that, guys. Got that little tiny jig head down in his mouth. Man, that thing is just incredible. And you can see, folks, how they're eating that thing. I mean, they're not just coming up and messing with it. They're inhaling it big time. All right, let's get the hook out here. Look at that, folks. What a beauty. Let's throw him on the boga grip here and see what we got. About four and a half pounds, guys. Four and a half pounder. What a beauty. Beautiful fish on a small bait. I tell you what, guys, the day has absolutely changed around for us. It went from good, or it went from, excuse me, bad to good. The weather's getting better, the winds quit. I tell you what, we might be in for one heck of an evening here. All right, let's slide this guy back. There she goes. Guys, this is a huge rainbow. Look at this rainbow down there. Look at that, guys. You can catch the bass on that grub, guys, or you can catch rainbows. Look at the size of this rainbow. Holy smokes, folks. Look at this fish. I can't even get him in a net. Look at there, folks. Look at that rainbow, guys. All right, folks, I gotta get this fish back over and into the water here. Absolute beauty on the grub, bass or rainbow. Slide him back. Look at him, there he goes. Powering off. Man, what an absolute Sherman tank, guys. I didn't want to have to bring that fish in, but he got all wrapped up in the line. I actually had to break my jig to get him loose there. That is an absolute beast. Look at that. Folks, that same 316 ounce jig head, small curl tail grub, four inch, catching bass and huge, huge rainbow trout. That was a surprise right there. All right, let's get things cleaned up and get back out there and see if we can't get back after the bass. Oh, there's one right there, guys. That's not a bad fish, not a giant, but we'll take him. We'll take him. He pulls like a truck. Come here, buddy. Got a nice little fish, a little couple pounds. Come here, Junior. You were fighting like you were a lot bigger than that. Jeez, what a fighter. What a fighter for a little guy. Got that grub up there in his mouth, guys. Grub's working. Just had to change up and get it what they wanted. Pretty, pretty fish, little fish. All right, Bubba, thank you. See ya. All right, see if we can't keep getting them with the old change up, guys. Ball head jig, I'm telling you, 3 16th, eight ounce. We got that wind blowing today, so I'm running a little bit heavier, 3 16th, just to have better control of my cast. But that's it right there, simple rig. Most people don't think of this bait as being a good bass bait, largemouth especially. They always think of smallmouth bait, walleye, but tell you what, they will catch the largies when the conditions get tough. All right, see if we can't get another one. This week's product showcase brought to you by AXTackle.com. Tackle that will give you the edge. Oh, hey, that feels like a pretty good fish, guys. There guys, look at that net, brother. There we go guys. Look at that folks. There's a, there's a big walleye for you guys, look at that. Look at there folks. Wooden minnow, river to sea wooden minnow in that fish's mouth right there. Look at that my friends, look at that, look at that folks. Look at that big trout plug right there. Look at the mouth on that walleye. Look at there guys. Is that beauty or what? Look at that pig right there. That is why you work all day long, hook up the boat, and come out all night right there, guys. Tell you what, let's get a weight on this fish here real quick, guys. 11 pounds, guys. 11 pounder. River Sea Wood Minnow, rainbow trout, guys. That's those big walleyes right here eating right there. 
Beautiful fish. Let's get one back in the water. Coming in. Belly on that fish, folks. Look at that. 11 pounds of mean walleye right there. Look at that, guys. Is that incredible? Let him get me high. Big hand. Should say she. Look at that fish, folks. Right there. Boom! Power now. Folks, I want to show you the bait we just caught that last walleye with. It's a River to Sea Wood Minnow 160. This isn't a rainbow trout pattern. And if you follow the show, you've uh, seen us use this bait for big pike. Folks, we're catching big smallmouth bass with this plug. Uh, we just caught that 11 pound walleye with it. It's working great for these big walleyes. Um, it's a bait that's really going to put some big fish in the boat for you, and it's a multi species bait. So if you're looking for something that's uh, going to get those big fish for you, I'd recommend the River to Sea Wood Minnow 160. It comes in several different colors. One thing's for sure, folks, they'll catch a big fish. Look them up at axtackle.com. River to Sea Wood Minnow. Folks, being it's early spring right now, I want to show you what's kind of happening. We've caught a couple fish like this and we haven't filmed it. And this one I just brought in because it was a small fish, but I want you to see something. There's some big, big pike in these lakes, and Mickey and I are pike hunters, and uh, probably next week we're going to be out hunting some pike. But I want to show you what a big northern can do. See the size of this bass right here? That bass is probably 15 inches long. Look at this. See that right there? And look back there. Both sides. That fish has been totally... He's been totally shredded by a big northern, and that's two fish we've caught today in this size range that have been shredded by the northerns. So I guarantee you, Mickey and I are gonna be out here next week throwing big swim baits and see if we can get some northerns that are eating these guys. All right, partner, you've had a rough day. Let's get you back. Oh, there's one right there, guys. Up underneath that dock. Ain't not a big fish, but we'll take him. Folks, the way we're working this thing, just like you would do a jig and pig fishing structure, all I'm doing is just coming and hitting the docks, just working the docks, just this little fish here. Just working the docks, just like you would do jig and pig or any other bait. But the beauty of this, let's throw him back in there. The beauty of this bait, the way we've got it rigged, what's happening, if you look at a jig and pig, it's falling real fast. Even with the pork and the, the plastic uh, skirting on it, it's still falling fast. And what I thought we needed to do was one, go with a thin profile bait like this versus a big bulky jig and pig, like this guy right up here that we were running right here. You can see the size difference here. And what happens with this little curly tail grub with a 3 16 ounce head, as this thing's falling, it's very, very seductive. The tail's kicking, and with the drag of that tail, it makes it fall extremely slow. And that was the key. This, this profile for them is a lot easier to eat when they're in a negative or neutral mood versus a big bulky bait like this. And the other thing it does is the fall rate's extremely slow. If we didn't have the wind and stuff that we're battling today, I would have this head down to an 8th ounce and even a 16th ounce. But with this wind like it is, I have no control. So 3 16ths is about as light as I can go and still fish that bait. But we're just working it around structure. That's all we're doing. I'll tell you what, it's something that works excellent. Next time you're out and you're getting beat up, tie one of those guys on. All right, see if we can get another one. guys right there got him digging down here guys coming out this way look at that one guys there's a good one there's a good boy he inhaled it guys hailed that hailed that jig guys can we get him here there we go there's a nice one, guys, look at that. He's got that jig just buried down in there. See if we can get it out here without hurting him. Get that down in there. There we go. There we go, folks, he inhaled that little jig. Nice fish, let's throw him on the boga grip here real quick, give you an idea at home of what we got. Four pounds, guys, three and three quarter, four, right in there, bouncing a little bit. Nice fish though, nice belly. Let's get that fish back in the water. There he goes, guys. 
Tell you what, folks, something unique just happened right there. Mickey and I fished all the way around this dock. We come in behind on the back side of it with a light shining underneath, and you could see two or three big fish up underneath that dock. And I kept pitching this thing in there, this grub, and they'd fall down. You could watch them drop, but they wouldn't pick it up. So what we did, we came back around to the front side of this dock to where I could parallel it, cast it up in there, and then what I did is I swam it about that far underneath the surface, right at the base of those logs where those fish were at, and I swam it through there one time and they smacked it. So it just goes to show you, if you see fish and you can't get them to pick it up, a lot of times right now the sun's starting to come out, the windstorm's left, the water's starting to warm up, it's around 48, 49 degrees, these fish will start to suck up underneath these logs and a lot of times they don't want to feed down. So if you see that happening, just like right here, what you want to do is parallel it and just swim it just underneath the surface and it'll drive them nuts. Work just like that. We were, we were leaving those fish alone, going to come around, working with the, the jig, jigging technique, and I decided to swim it. Bam. Keep the techniques changing up. All right, see if we can't get another one. This is a this is a huge trout, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, you're gonna, you're not gonna believe this. Here we're trying to bass fish. Look at this fish. I don't know if I can get this fish by myself, guys. Oh my, folks, I had to have Mickey drop the camera, help me net this fish. You are not gonna believe the size of this rainbow right here. Here we are bass fishing, and we catch a fish like this. Look at this. Look at this, folks, guys. Look at this, folks. That is like a I don't know. I'm gonna guess probably close to 12 pound. 12 pound fish right here. I don't want to hurt this fish, guys. I absolutely do not want to hurt this fish. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Uh, folks, bass fishing early, early in the spring like this when the water's 44, 45 degrees, you can catch some just absolutely incredible fish. I'm just gonna grab the boga grip right here and weigh the net and everything and see what we got. Folks, that fish in the net is almost 15 pounds in the net. Almost 15 pounds in the net, guys. Absolutely amazing. Look at this fish, folks. Look right here. I don't want to pick this fish up, guys. Look at that fish right there. I don't want to hurt this big guy. Look at that, folks. Absolute beauty. All right, let's send him back over. Oh, there he goes, guys. Holy smokes, folks. What an absolute beauty. That fish was pulling 15 pounds on this guy right here with the net. So let's see what our net weighs to get an idea here. Let's hang it this way. Deduct the net weight here. Stand up. Folks, the net weighs two pounds. Can you believe that, folks? That was a 13 pound rainbow. I apologize for not taking him out of the net. I didn't want to hold a fish that big because the odds of him getting away from me and hitting the deck and hurting himself were pretty high. But I just wanted to keep him in the net, keep him safe, get him back in the water. But that just goes to show you, hey, we're out here bass fishing. That was one big, big surprise. I didn't uh, anticipate that. So tell you what, 13 pound rainbow, I'll take that over a large mouth any day, fish that size. All right, let's go see if we can get the bass going. Oh, oh there's one right there. Feels like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, he's got some pretty good weight to him, guys. Oh yeah, nice fish. Look at that one, guys. That's a good fish. I'm telling you what, a little three sixteenth ounce jig head and a grub, folks. Kicking it old school. We started off today pitching and flipping and tubes and jigging pigs and cranking jerk baits, and I just could not get anything put together. And I decided to go back to a bait that I used for years as a kid. This is the only bait that I really knew. And I tell you what, it's paying off for us right now. Look at that. Nice fish, guys, look at that. Inhaled that thing right there. Hooked good. Get that hook out of there. This little four inch Berkeley grub in a pumpkin pattern. 3 16 jig head with the heavy Gamagatsu hook on it. Catch a nice fish like that. Throw that fish on the boga grip here real quick just to give you folks at home an idea of what we're talking about here for weight. I'm gonna say three and a half, four pounds. Just a little over four guys, four and a quarter or so. Beauty. 
Beautiful markings, beautiful fish. All right, let's throw that girl back in the water. Here he goes, he just realized he was cut loose. Well folks, I tell you what, the sun's starting to set on us. I told the wife I'd be home about a half an hour ago, I'm probably in a little bit of trouble. But I tell you, it was a slow day to start off with. We changed up, we went to that little grub right there. And as you saw, we caught a lot of fish with it and it actually just saved the day for us. You know, if you're out fishing, always be prepared to change up and always have some of these little grubs in your box. I tell you what, folks, they will catch everything. You saw that 13 pound rainbow, that's the biggest rainbow trout of my life. We caught a lot of fish in the four pound range, a lot of smaller fish. We caught a lot of fish you didn't see on film, small, small mouth. I tell you what, it's a great bait. Next time you're out, especially in this cold conditions like we've got here, cold front came through, miserable conditions, wind, don't be afraid to get the little guns out. And a lot of times, that's what will make that day go forward for you, and you'll catch a lot of fish. As always, folks, I want to thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week. For a list of today's gear and techniques, log on to axfishing.com and select AX Journals.